Now you spent your entire life working hard to please other people. But the question is, are you the CEO of your own life? Because if you don't do everything that you can to push your life forward, nobody else will. So what's going on guys? It's Josiah, your success strategist. And today is a business talk, but it's not about you starting up your own business. The business talk is about your own life. I want you to look at your life as a business. You are a company. You are you incorporated. And the question is, who's the CEO of you incorporated? Are you really running the business of your own life? Or have you allowed a board of directors to come into the company, take in all of the positions, dictate to you every single thing that has to be done in your life, and here it is, you're just the worker and the employee in your own corporation. Who is the CEO of you incorporated? This is something that is extremely important that many other communities know about, but we've never been taught. Are you the CEO of You Incorporated? Three quick points, make sure you subscribe. Number one, if your life was a business, how would you describe it? Are you running a booming business? Is your business growing? Or is your business failing? Are you on the risk of a hostile takeover? How would you describe your company's performance? Because before you think about any other company, your company is important. And nobody else is going to manage your company better than yourself. You've got to be the CEO of You Incorporated. There's so many people that have all these complaints about their life. Man, you know, I'm not making the money I want to make. Man, I don't have enough time. Man, I can't find the right female. I can't find the right male. I can't find this. I can't find that. But you notice whenever you start to ask them about why things aren't going the way they want their life to go, what do they always do? What always happens? They always blame it on somebody else. One minute, it's the government. It's the economy. It's their boss. It's their ex. It's, I don't know, the rocket man up in Mars somewhere. Who knows? Everybody is getting the blame for why you incorporated isn't working, but the CEO and you're the CEO of you incorporated. So you've got to be able to steer the ship in the direction where it needs to be turned. And my question to you is if your life was a business, I want you to think about this. Don't look at this and say, Oh, your side sounds so stuffy. Business is too uptight and it's too this and that get the stick out of your butt. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is if you could imagine your life as a company, would it be one that was on the rise or would it be one that was on the verge of disaster? Would you be a Netflix or would you be a blockbuster? If your life was a business, how would you describe it? Here's the second thing that I want you to really think about. All businesses, now that you have viewed yourself as the CEO of You Incorporated, all businesses constantly reinvest their resources back into the company so that the company can not only maintain, but grow. Here's my question to you. When was the last time that you have reinvested in yourself? See, one of the things that many people fail to recognize and they go to an entire lifetime making this mistake, never thinking about the common sense aspect of it is that when you get paid and I'm speaking here from a monetary standpoint, but God compensates you every day with the resource of time. When you get paid money, however, if you take that money and you spend it somewhere, where does it go? Are you just putting your money towards maintenance activities? Are you putting it towards just recreation? Or are you putting it towards assets that can grow your life? Here's the truth about most people. Most people work hard every single day, at least from Monday to Friday, sun up to sundown. 
And then they take all the money that they worked so hard to get and they put it back into things that only maintain their life at best, but never grows it. So you pay your rent, you pay your mortgage, you pay your utilities, you pay your cell phone bill, you pay the internet and all of these different fees. But let's be honest, these things only maintain your life at best. Your house isn't traveling anywhere. <laughs> it's gonna stay the exact same where it's at. Overall, it's going to look the exact same way that it does, at least structurally. So what resources are you investing into your company that's actually centered around growth? If you put every last dollar and every last bit of your time into nothing but maintenance, you work the same job that you've always worked. You pay the same bill that you've always paid. You go to the same restaurants, you're around the same people, you're doing the same things. How can you ever expect growth to come from such a stagnant condition? What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Are you not doing the same thing over and over again when you're paying the same bills, when you're going to the same job, when you're putting your same money in the exact same place that you've been putting it? If it hasn't gotten you where you want it to get you thus far, why do you think that your life is just automatically going to grow by you doing the same thing every single day? See, great investors invest in things that they know has a great chance at appreciating over time. Businesses don't just make money and squander it, not great businesses. Great businesses, they take a good portion of all of the resources that they've gotten financially and they reinvest it into the company, not just to keep the lights on, but to help it grow to the next level. Are you helping your company, you incorporated, grow to the next level? Here's a question. How many books have you read within the past three months that you've actually put money up and paid to get? You got Amazon.com, it's super easy. When was the last time that you signed up for a course? that was able to show you exactly what you needed to accomplish out of life, aside from the formal education that someone spoon fed to you that only got you but so far. When was the last time that you attended a conference that was dedicated towards the industry that you're trying to be uh, a game changer in to learn what the best trends are and the best strategies are for that industry. If you have not been doing any of those things within the past three months, I already know where your business is going and it ain't going up. So the only way that your business is going to go up is if you deliberately invest in upward growth. It's not going to happen by magic. Yes, okay, here's a pat on the back for paying your bills. That's just to maintain your life. The rat race is set up around people that just want maintenance out of their life. The people that get something from life are those that actually grow from life instead of making every single day a rerun of yesterday. So is you incorporated focused on investing in your future or are you always spending money on today? Last and third point. What strategic decisions are you making as the CEO of You Incorporated to help you have a great life? Strategic decisions are not always easy. Strategic decisions sometimes require risk. It makes things very uh, uncomfortable, very nerve wracking. And you may realize that you Inc. may not change at all until Maybe you move into a different location. You surround yourself around different people. You start studying new things that can help take your life to a totally different place. In five years from today, you'll be the exact same person as you are now, outside of the people that you meet and the books that you read. So the question is, as the CEO, here it is, you're in the boardroom now. <laughs> everybody's looking to you. All eyes are on you. You can't blame mommy now. 
for why your life is the way that it is. You can't blame daddy now for why life is the way that it is. You can't blame your ex. You can't blame your boss. You can't blame Donald Trump. You don't have nobody to blame. You are the CEO and president of you incorporated. So what are you going to do as your own CEO to help your business thrive? Because if you don't do a damn thing about it, trust me, ain't nobody else going to. Do not expect someone to do more for your life than you're willing to do for yourself. So leave me a comment. I want you to respond to these questions. I want to know if your life was a business, how would you describe it? Would it be on the rise or would it be failing? And I want you to tell me the reason why you came up with that answer because I want to be able to help you. I don't, I don't want to just, as your brother, watch your life fail if you feel like it's failing and not be able to give you some help to get back on the right direction. I'll be willing to help you, but you got to be willing to help yourself. Leave that as the first response. Then second, are you investing in you? Because all great businesses reinvest in themselves. So how are you investing in you? What's the last book that you read? What's the last time that you've actually paid to be able to learn from someone that knows more about an area that you want to excel in rather than you just kind of going off and winging your way through life, right? You look at top performers, they have top coaches, top consultants, boards of advisors. They have all these things for a reason. That's the reason why they're at world-class level. And third, what strategic decisions are you going to make, which could be difficult, to take you incorporated to the next level? Listen, if you don't make these strategic decisions, nobody's going to make them for you. And guess what? Even if you decide to do nothing, even indecision is a form of decision because you've chosen to keep your life at the bottom. I want better for you, but you got to want better for yourself. It's time to get to work. You're the CEO of You Incorporated. I want you to take action. I want you to subscribe to this channel. I want you to get into this empire builder in the description box below because I'm showing you how to be able to build an empire from scratch all for free. As the CEO of You Incorporated, you make the best investment in yourself. I love you. Take care.